Hey folks, a rare episode of Truck and Trailer Tuesday on Tractor Time with Tim. We didn't even have to bring our own tractor today. All we had to bring was a big green trailer. Wayne here is the property owner and his friend Dave has the tractor. This is a 4300 John Deere. Boy, it's in beautiful condition. So the sides come down real easy. The only challenge is uh, getting this uh, tarp support off. So I usually just take the support off the top here. Really nice feature on a trailer like this. Yeah, I really like this. It's, it's not very high now. It's, hopefully Dave does a little better job on the next uh, load. He's got a long enough reach over, he can come right down, put his boom right over this, and then when he dumps, he doesn't have to dump it very far down. What year is that tractor? Do you have any idea? I don't know, probably 2000 or so. It looks great. It is, it's a nice, a nice machine. I think he's kept it sheltered. You think if we stand here and talk, we won't have to help load? I, yeah, that's what my plan was. Let her down a little before you dump, if you don't mind. Thank you. I'm trying to protect my floor. Beautiful tractor. Did you buy it new? Yeah, I did. March of 2000. March of 2000. Pretty good prediction there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh oh, looks like you found my gloves. The only gloves I found are Jimmy's, and they're insulated. Ooh, that's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Get three or four hanging off the side. Well, Wayne, we should have had my grapple here. If we'd have known we was gonna be doing this, I'd have had you cut them maybe yeah, we'll six foot long or something, and then we could have grappled these. But then uh, Dave wouldn't have got to use his tractor. It had been bored sitting in the house. Yeah. You notice his tractor never runs above idle. I bet it's running around 1,500 RPM. He said, it's not fair to bring a brand new trailer over here. He said you need the floor dented up before you come. <laughs> no. That's quite a wide bucket on that tractor. They don't put them on that wide anymore. The other trees that he's got are cypress, and they're a lot heavier. So we're gonna leave some of this for this load and go put some of that cypress on the back part of our trailer. Hopefully we can still lift it. You know, one of the big fears is with any sort of a dump trailer is not being able to dump it, not having enough oomph to dump it. And that happened once with me with a load of dirt. Um, I ended up with a hand shovel shoveling it off not good at all. I'm really enjoying working with Dave. He doesn't say much, but he is so calm and cool with that tractor. Yeah, I like this kind of project. I'm coming. <clears throat> Here, I need to be able to get under a little bit too. Well, if we get it on her, he can roll it back. Now, Wayne, when we get back here, I fully expect to see that little B7100 out here. It's done for the week. Uh-oh, is it quit? No, it's me. Oh. Operator's tired. See, if I were you, I'd be saying, you know, if I had another tractor and loader out here, I could make Tim do all the loading. Should have done that. You know, you got to think, man. 
I'm, I am perfect at thinking about how to get the other guys to do the work. I'm surprised that uh, you're just not supervising me here. Well, I'm overachieving today. Oh. <laughs> right, the end of the work. End yeah, of, yeah. Work, got to earn the paycheck. <laughs> No, I was I was hoping to see that little 7100. Oh, it's, I'll get it out and stare my detach car. I think when we get back from this next trip, it'll be sitting out here. And yes. yeah, this isn't going to work well for me. I'll probably end up having to load both buckets. Yeah. Maybe I can get you involved, Christy. I got to run the camera. Oh. I'll volunteer to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll work. You planted these yourself? Yeah. How long ago? Uh, probably 35 years ago. Everything on here, all the trees were no more than an inch diameter when I planted them. They, uh, they grew fast. Yes. Some of these rings are three quarter inch wide. I think you'll get it. Up. Probably about one more of those. I think that'll be a load. Besides, I'm ready for a Diet Pepsi. I'm just nervous I'll get more than I can lift, and I'm probably uh, over nervous about that. I, I can't tell exactly how much each bucket weighs. We've put about 10 bucketfuls on here. I don't know if they'll weigh me at Green Cycle. If they do, we'll, we'll have a good clue, and next time we'll know we could do it a little bit fuller. The battery wasn't fully charged when I left this morning. I, I had it on the trickle charge for 12 hours, so it should be in good shape, but, you know, just don't want to have to be throwing this off by hand. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. First, we have to make sure the hinge is latched at the top. It should be for transport anyway. And then we have to loosen these. That's where they are for transport. And then that's where they are for being unlocked and ready to go. Then I just go up here and open the gate. Yeah, there's no exertion as long as it'll lift it. And we'll soon see. Well, that's all it wanted. I'm glad we didn't load any more in front. Now, I love the low profile trailer because of its loading ability. I can put that ramp down, I can drive a tractor up in it, it's really nice. One disadvantage comes when you want to dump. You just simply cannot dump in a pile. Uh, when you dump it, you have to dump and then kind of drag it out forward. There's just no other way to do it. I believe I can tip it up a little bit more though. Yeah, I just wanted to look in here to see if there were any dents or bad scuffs, but that floor is pretty tough. Yeah. I mean, there was some of that stuff fell in there pretty hard, and I don't see any evidence of dents. I believe we're going to be able to be pretty tough on this trailer, and it's going to hold up. I'm going to shut the door and then take off, and hopefully you're in the truck with me. Okay, I'm, I'm a coming. Now, Christy, this machine is one of the first. Uh, of the compact or subcompact tractors. You really could call this a subcompact tractor, even though it's got a little bit bigger tires than what they have today. I mean, it is. Well, Wayne, what horsepower is this tractor? 16 gross. 16 horsepower. Quite frankly, without these first Kubota tractors, there wouldn't be a tractor time with Tim. I mean, Kubota invented this whole segment. Uh, and I can remember my dad, when he first saw these little guys, he thought this was the coolest thing ever for mowing his yard. Absolutely amazing. Now this one's a hydrostatic drive. That's uh, that was pretty far advanced. I believe Wayne said he bought this in 1976 and he bought it second hand. Uh, it was new in 1974, I believe he said. It looks like brand new right now. Before you start it, you have to warm the glow plugs on. Oh, okay. You know, like these newer tractors, even though they're diesel, you turn the key and 
and they start this one you have to take a minute or so turn it to the left so we just hold it there for a while does it tell us when it, it's it, done it'll, usually when it clicks twice You know, this thing sounds remarkably like the Kubota BX of today. We've got one in our shed right now, and when I revved it up all the way, it sounds almost identical. Smooth to be that old. It, 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 it runs like a champ. Now, I don't think this thing has spent very many nights outside. No. None. Zero. This is absolutely incredible. It gets washed about three times a year, and at least one coat of polish on it once a year. Wow. Now. I will say that it's not quite as comfortable to set on as some of the newer ones, no matter which brand. I mean, it was made for a smaller guy than me. My goodness, a reliable machine. 1,600 hours on it? 1,620. 1,620. Somebody came out and put 20 on it last night while you weren't uh, watching. No, it was locked up. <laughs> it's got hydrostatic drive, but manual steering. Yeah. No tilt wheel. Yeah, the wheel is... Uh, but again, those are creature comforts that have that have come along since. But as far as just uh, the basics, the reliability and uh, ability to mow your yard, you didn't have a loader on this one because it didn't have quite enough pump. Is that right? It's my understanding the hydraulic pump is not big enough to handle a loader and power steering. I wanted to put both on. They said you can't do both, and it was hard to find a loader. You'd have to almost buy an aftermarket loader for it. This thing is beginning to have some value as a, as a collector's item. So, and the original deck, I'm sure? Yeah. I had to put a new dynamo on. Other than that, it's all original. Now, how did you find the parts? Messix. Messix had the parts? Online. I called them. They said, we got one. I said, ship it to them. It's here the next day. Well, I'll be. Yeah. Neil, a little plug that I didn't even expect for you. <laughs> there was not a single dent in that floor that I saw. Good. You did a good job. Thank you. Either that or floor's really tough. <laughs> Maybe some of both. <laughs> I tried to prevent it, but you probably got a good floor too. That's not the first trailer I ever loaded either. You know, I kind of figured that out. I think I'll put my trailer back together and bring it down there to make the trip closer this time. I'm not going to pin this up much. We're just driving around to the back. I really like those fold down sides, Christy. Yeah. That makes a trailer useful to a compact tractor. Yeah. I don't know how high his loader will lift. Probably enough to go over the top of the sides, but it sure would have been a loud crash on the inside. Yeah, and probably would have scuffed up the trailer more, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. And they're so easy to take on and off. Yeah, it just takes a minute. At least Wayne didn't cut all of his shade trees. The rest of them are going to stay in. My tree cutting is over. You're done cutting trees. Boy, I hope we're going to be able to get this all on there. I'm a little nervous. Is that all the curl that's got? Or dump, I mean? What do you think, Christy? How many more can we handle? Some more can go up front here. We could also, it looks to me like right against the tailgate down there, if we just stack on the left end of his bucket. At least one more bucket full here in the front well, we can handle. Oh, of course. I imagine that's probably about all we better take. Like maybe I could get rid of that one. I'm just trying to leave you with as small a stuff as possible. Yeah, if we can maybe get that big one. Okay, that's all. This one in front also. 
about the only place left, yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot of work. Yeah, but it's been a lot of fun. Dave, you are excellent on this tractor. Well, thank you. Year 2000, unbelievable. It's in great condition. How many hours you got? Oh, about 830. 830 hours, wow. That's a lot of hours for it to be in the condition it's in. Wayne, we need him to take care of our equipment, I think. Yes. Well, we've got two full loads, and we've got a few sticks left over, but I think we better quit here. Sounds good. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate you calling me. All right. Nice to meet you. Dave? I'm here, Tim. And we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. I can tell that one's making his tail end a little bit light. I'm gonna have to get him a heavy hitch, Wayne. It's over there day trying to pick up one of my trees. Rear wheels are off the ground about that high. You have to talk to him about rear ballast. You've learned about rear ballast if you've been watching our episodes. Yes. Yeah, a heavy hitch or something like that would be nice where you could remove it.